Ian here for Academy Class. In this video, I'm going to show you how to ensure that your page numbers always stay at the top in InDesign. So you can see here, I've got a page number. And if I move the image down, because I want it at the bottom of the page, then the image will cover the page number. So the way it works in InDesign, objects that are placed on a page or page objects, such as images and text, will always go above objects that are placed on the parent or in previous version called masters or master pages. So if I just move the image back up so we can see the page number. So the page number here is on the parent and I'll show you that parent page. So in the pages panel, I can double click on the A parent to access the parent. So you can see the page numbers here. And I'll just quickly show you how the page numbers are set up. So first of all, you'd need to grab the type tool and drag out a text box. I'll just delete uh, the A here, which is the page number. And then with the text box created and the cursor flashing inside, you can right click, insert special character, markers, and current page number. So that will give you the A, which represents the page number. So if I just come back over to page three by double clicking, you can see that the A has been kind of calculated and it's been worked out that we're on page three. So the way to solve this problem is to separate page items, such as images and text, and parent objects, such as page numbers. So to do this, I'm going to come back over to the A parent. And the reason I have to do that is because if I'm on the selection tool, I can't select the page number here. So objects from parents are locked on pages. If I go over to the A parent, I double click in. You can see here I can select the page numbers. So I'm going to come over to the layers panel. If you hold down the Alt key or the Option key and click on the new layer icon, that gives you the opportunity to give it a name straight away. So I'm just going to call it uh, Parent Objects. And you can call it, you know, what you like, that layer. So I'll click OK. Next, I'll select both page numbers. So I'll click on one shift click on the next and you can see at the moment that the page numbers are on layer one because layer one's been highlighted and then I'm going to grab this little color box here at the end which is for my selected items and I'll move up to the gray box on the parent objects layer you can also see that it's changed color to red to tell me it's on the parent objects layer so now my page numbers or at a higher level than my image, which is, which is on layer one. So if I come back over to my pages panel, I'll double click on page three, and you can now see if I move the image down, the image now goes below the page numbers. And that's because the image is on layer one, and the page numbers are on the parent objects layer. So all the objects I place on my parent objects layer will appear above all the objects on the page. So I hope you found the video useful. Thank you. 